major companies are racing to get involved in the self-driving vehicle business. Uber is investing $400 million in a startup, which is taking over its autonomous car operation. Walmart is planning on testing self-driving box trucks this year, and a company in California wants to have robotic vehicles deliver your groceries. Now there are companies thinking much bigger in the ever-growing world of artificial intelligence, self-driving tractor trailers. Autonomous trucking is going to save the transportation industry 28% of their current expenses. Too simple. A company based in San Diego is getting ready to launch a fleet of self-driving big rigs. It currently has more than 40 autonomous trucks in the U.S. The plan is to start making deliveries in the Southwest later this year and then across the country by the year 2024. Two humans are on board to make sure everything is flowing smoothly, but the plan is to go full artificial intelligence also in 2024. Our truck can run day or night and they're very capable of operating in existing weather conditions. So what keeps these trucks from crashing? Each one is armed with 20 cameras, five radars, and two LIDAR, which are remote sensors that use light. And that allows the truck to have a 360 degree view uh, of, around the truck. Uh, that allows us to see out a thousand meters. So if you think about that, more than 10 football fields worth of vision, and that allows the computers to analyze and evaluate and identify all the objects uh, that that truck is encountering. One of the obvious questions, how safe are these self-driving big rigs? We will not deploy autonomous trucking until it is at or above human standards. According to research, the AI found in these trucks reacts 15 times faster than a human would. Lee White, a VP at Too Simple, believes these self-driving trucks are expected to add jobs, not take them away. The trucks will go from a pickup point to a drop-off point. Workers are needed to load and unload, then truck drivers step in and bring the delivery to its final destination. The American Trucking Association estimates that there's a driver shortage of 60,000 drivers right now. They estimate that 1.1 million new hires for trucking jobs need to be done in the next decade. This self-operating technology can also be found on a construction site. Artificial intelligence is now manning the controls of bulldozers, loading, and dump trucks. Dump truck, you go pick up the dart and, you know, take it to point A to point B, and truck will just do it by itself. So you don't need an operator. You can open up your laptop. Like Too Simple, it's safety first at Safe AI. But also there is a safety overall mechanism in the three layer mechanism where if there is an operator around the side they can always stop the vehicle remotely perhaps the biggest advantage of this technology is efficiency federal regulators dictate a driver must stop after being on the road for 11 hours this will not apply to the autonomous trucks truck drivers right now are reluctant and aren't desiring to take these week-long trips, the truckers will be able to take the shorter runs and be at home at night with their families. That's really what they want. Well, the public's still very skeptical about self-driving vehicles, big or small. An MIT survey says less than 40% of Americans say they're willing to get in one. But you know we're going in that direction. Uh, that's where it's all leading, Regardless. That's for sure.